Hello again. Uh, I ran this for about three and a half, four hours last night. And uh, I turned it off because I didn't want to go to bed with it running, which it probably could have ran all night, but uh, I had to, uh, if something fell off or short circuited and the battery blew up, and then I have a fire in the garage. I didn't want to cause that. but So I got about three and a half, four hours. And I wanted to see how much voltage dropped from yesterday. On the battery, I started like with 1234. And when I turned it off, it was down to like 1040 or so. I can't remember what the last video was. Uh, but I just wanted to show this real quick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Let me get spinning the right way. This way it goes faster. Oops. There we go. Still hauling ass, as you can hear. John, I'm sure you were quite familiar with that sound for a long time. So I'm going to turn this to... Twelve volts. I don't know why it's reading twenty-two. But it's just on the negative there. There it goes. And now it went back up to eleven sixty-nine, sixty-six. It'll probably drop pretty quick. You can hear it, but it's still going very, very fast. Okay. If I drop steady till it gets back down to that 10.4. The interesting thing is, and one thing, uh, John, if you watch this, John Aaron, um, the back EMF, I can't get to the 12.58 that you've gotten off the back end charge. Uh, I don't know if it's the coil I'm using. I think this is a very efficient motor because it, it is hauling butt, but maybe my coil isn't as efficient because you are using a solid iron coil with uh, a lot of wrapping. And you've got a very thick coil. If that makes a difference, please let me know. I think this is holding steady at about 11.21, 11.22. But I want to show you hooking it up to the back EMF that I'm not getting a very high rating at all. So hold on, I'm going to turn this off and then turn it back on. Okay, now we're reading the voltage on the back EMF. There's the bridge rectifier here. You see the leads going to the positive end of the tester, and then the negative part of the bridge rectifier, the red is going to the negative. And that sucker is jumping all over the place. But I can't get to this over 12 volt reading that you got, John. I did buy another battery. I'm very, very much wanting to charge it with the back EMF. But of course, as you know, I'm sure, you can't get the any charge on the battery unless it's over 12 volts. So I'll push it the other way. Push the electron backwards. So, uh, I need help on that. If you could help me, well, that would be great. Anyway, I hope this is helping some other people. I took the charger off of this battery. I'll go ahead and do it while we're looking. That's the back EMF. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it. Bring this back over to here. Because I didn't buy two of the voltage rate or meters. And we are back down to very close to what it was when I shut it off after almost four hours last night. But, I've only lost a little bit of speed on this sucker, so uh, if you can help me out, somebody, tell me what's going on, that would be cool.
Thanks. Bye.